Oh yes, New Gear Day. So, the beautiful people of YouTube, welcome back to another JLJ vlog. So today we are going to be talking about something new, for me anyway, not a new camera per se. Past few weeks I've been in the market for something a little bit smaller than my Sony A7 Mark II to go out and do some vlogging with. Probably a combat camera, but as long as it had a uh, flip screen, I was just going to be happy with regardless of what I ended up with. I sold a couple of wee bits and pieces. I sold an old lens that I didn't use anymore. Ended up falling for this. This is the Canon EOS M3. Probably a bit of a strange choice, but quite a popular camera for guys who are going out and vlogging. The reason why I went for this camera is very, very simple. 180 degree articulating screen. Can you see that? Can you see yourself? That's kind of cool. This came with the uh, kit lens, which is the 15 to 45, which gives you about a 3.1 times optical zoom if you were using it in a digital term. It takes a mic, so the mic that I'm using now currently is the Rode Video Mic, and what I can do is I can use that directly straight into this camera as well. Got more improvements over the original EOS M. If anybody remembers that, they know how much of a shambles the original EOS M was. I hated it whenever it came out. I'm not going to bother with an unboxing because you know what comes in a box. I'm not really going to go heavily over specification. We're just going to switch over to it now. So in the style of really, really bad 90s video editing, I'm going to swap over to it. What? How cheesy was that? I am currently now shooting on the Canon EOS M3. Don't be too harsh on it yet. The exposure is probably shot on this video. There's probably a massive difference between what we've just shot and what you're looking at now. This is the second take I've done in this because I've done an entire first take with my microphone off. So a lot of people said to me, why go for the Canon EOS M3 and why not go for something like the Canon G7X Mark II, the Sony HX90, Panasonic LX15, Sony RX100, even the Canon G7X Mark I. Oh my God, there's too many models out there. It's a little bigger than what I want to in terms of the physical size of it, but I, I do actually quite like it. The video quality seems to be dead on and the 180 degree articulating screen. I needed to get that right because I've been calling it a flip screen. Uh, it's not a selfie screen. It's not a selfie screen. It's, it's a 180 degree articulating screen. A lot of people send me, why didn't you go buy one of them? And it's a very simple price. I got this camera for about 300 pound um, with the standard 15 to 45 kit lens. I, I'm more than happy with it. Like I have to say, you know, I can see myself in the screen right now, which I shouldn't be looking at the screen because if I'm looking at the screen, it looks like I have wonky eyes. Hmm. I'll go back and do that again. So yeah, so so this camera came out in 2015. Probably not the newest camera in the world. It's it's still a new camera, but in technology terms, it's not that new. Your your 1080p whenever you are doing your 25p, whatever the hell that means. And once you go up to 50p when you're in AVC HD, it drops down to 720p, which means that you're gonna lose the quality. So I'm probably kind of like stop motion animation right now. Yeah, one thing, one thing I should probably mention as well. I'm not very good at specification, so this entire time I have been actually, in fact, using my good old friend, Google. So yeah, it was, it's a bit of a bizarre choice, but I'm, I'm feeling quite happy, I'm feeling quite confident with it. So my plan today is I'm currently waiting on my landlord um, to come out and inspect our flat to make sure we can stay here for another year. Maybe by the end of this video I could be homeless, who knows. As most of you know, I play in a band, um, we're called Crisis. Um, I will post links to YouTube and to iTunes and Spotify below. Not in my penis, in the description. I'm practicing with those guys tonight. I'm gonna to take the camera out today. The setup that I have right now is quite big, it's quite chunky, so there's a good chance I'll probably not be taking all this stuff with me. But we'll, we'll, we'll take as much as I can, as much as I can fit in my bag. Go out, do a little bit of testing with the camera, see what happens, and uh, fingers crossed it's nice. So. Yeah, let's see if I made a mistake or if I'm happy with the results that I got. Anyway, back to the 90s. Bearcat Studios and um, big up to Johnny and um, Monroe 
for letting us use um, the room. Try and get a wee bit of mood lighting. There we go, that's better. Cool, right? So you've seen some of the footage. Hopefully it will give you a better idea of using the Canon EOS M3 as a full vlogging camera. This setup which I'm using is the Grillapod 5K as well as the Manfrotto Twist Grip and the Rode Compact Microphone. So this is quite a, a compact little setup, it's quite nice. The Canon EOS M3 um, works really, really well in all certain types of lighting situations. This is a, a darkened room, for example. I've seen it earlier on whenever I was in my house. Um, the Canon ESM is quite a diverse little camera. You'll see yourself the videos that are taken with it. You just see how kind of how well the camera can perform, really in, in all certain types of, of, of situations. I got shouted out once or twice by people not wanting me to take their video. They weren't even in my video, but you know, hopefully this video will will help you sort of see why I chose this particular camera. Very pleased with it. I'm a bit sweaty because I've just walked for quite a long while. I'm going to drink a can of Red Bull. And I'm going to eat a chicken sandwich. Sandwich. Chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich. Whatever. Thanks for tuning in. And I look forward to seeing some comments below about this video. Like I said, over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be doing a couple more videos. Not just camera gear related. I'm going to be doing a walk around with uh, the Sony a7 Mark II and the Sigma 105 macro lens. I'm also going to be shooting some flowers and, and things like that. And yeah, so hopefully you like it.